Hi. Today's video is about one of my absolute favourite YouTube channels ever. Um, Barb's Buzzing. Um, hopefully you could sense the sarcasm there. Um, I hate this channel. I, 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 I hate them. Harsh, but true. Um, if you don't know who these guys are, then let me give you a little rundown of what their channel is about and who they are. The channel is run by two guys, Jack and Chris. They've basically tried to combine, like, the vlogger style video with, like, fish tube videos. Um, in my opinion, they do both badly. One of my favourite things about this community is that we help each other out. Um, if I need help with anything, I can message another fish person or I can search YouTube and find hundreds of videos of people willing to help me. These guys clearly never ask for help, nor do they actually research any of the animals they get prior to getting them. They repeatedly buy animals completely on a whim, mainly fish, um, but yeah, the amount of times these guys have literally just gone into any random pet shop and asked pet shop employees for help rather than actually researching it themselves, like it doesn't take long to research an animal quickly, I mean when I research animals I take like a really long time doing that, but yeah, it doesn't take long to find out the basic care essentials for any animal, like it's quite easy to do these days. Time and time again they are seen well, they're not really seen because they film themselves doing it time and time again. They are seen um, buying fish that they know absolutely nothing about and coming home and putting them in less than ideal setups. And it just really, really frustrates me when there is so much information out there for them to have that they choose not to research any of the animals that they get prior to getting them. They film this whole process and then literally ignore every single comment from people that are trying to help them. Not even trying to help them, but trying to help the animal be out of that situation. Um, yeah, they cannot take constructive criticism at all. Like, hey, that's different. If people are leaving hate being like, you're doing this wrong, like, that that kind of annoys me um but when people are giving constructive criticism like hey you might want to do it this way instead of that way or you know you need to take that on board everyone messes up everyone fails everyone does things wrong especially when it comes to animal care but not accepting that some people might know how to do things better than you and are actually just trying to help you that really annoys me because you don't know everything and no one knows everything i feel like to do anything like animal related on YouTube you need to be okay with taking constructive criticism um, because you are going to do things wrong and you can research something like as much as you possibly can but you're still going to do some things wrong like no one is perfect but you've got to be able to realise when people are just trying to help you compared to when people are just hating on you and most of their comments are from people trying to help them and they perceive them to be hate and they don't reply and they only reply to like positive ones and it's just it's just it annoys me a lot anyway i'm not gonna sit here just slagging them off without giving you guys any kind of context so context these are a few of their worst ever moments or videos where they have got things so majorly wrong just because they haven't done any research So the better breeding fail, they're actually attempting to breed again and I really do hope it goes a lot better than the last time, um, but seeing their latest breeding video I really doubt that's going to happen. Anyway, um, let's go over the first breeding video that they did, they've literally just gone on to wikihow, um, yeah, it's, it's quite embarrassing to be honest. And uh, this water has been dechlorinated, pH down all the above and, and is ready. I'm gonna take a little bit of this water out. Probably, this is a 2.5, I'll probably take a gallon of it out, put it in here this way. There's some cycled water. Okay, so the tank hasn't been filtered. Breeding in an unfiltered tank is literally going to result in the death of all of the babies. So even if the breeding is successful, um, yeah, you're gonna get no babies. It's gonna be kind of sad. He likes his home. He likes his home. Blue net, blue beta. Perfect. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Go, buddy. Other way, buddy. 
Other way! Um, so the unfiltered tank wasn't too much of an issue here because the brooding was unsuccessful, which happens, it's a thing, it does happen. Um, but I'm really, really thankful that their breeding attempt did fail because they were planning on feeding them vinegar eels. Like, nothing but vinegar eels. I don't know how long they were planning on doing this, but they kept, like, iterating, 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 they kept repeating um, that they were fully prepared because they had vinegar eels. Beta food, baby food. So that is many. all vinegar eels. That is the literally the grossest thing ever. And my closet is starting to smell like vinegar. <laughs> yeah. You need vinegar eels or some type of lo small live food for the baby betas. Got the food for the babies ready. Vinegar eels, I would not suggest feeding past two days of free swimming. By the way, hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm a better breeder. Hi, nice to meet you. But yeah, they really needed to have a lot more live food prepared. Um, baby brine shrimp is pretty much a staple. Grindle worms are really, really good, although not necessary. Um, yeah, baby brine shrimp are like the main thing that you're going to need if you're breeding betters. Um, and then you need to move them past that about one month. That's when I roughly do it anyway. Um, yeah, so there's that. Every time she goes up and they do the little dance kind of thing, when she, where he wraps around her, she goes crazy and spits eggs everywhere every time he does it. See right now, look, they're doing it right now. And let's see what happens. They just did it. They just rubbed up on each other. Oh, they, see, and then right after she the, they did that, she spit eggs out. Their betters weren't mating, and they would know that if they watched a single video of betters mating, which, you know, if you're planning on breeding, it's something that you would expect they would have done. Um, I spent months researching breeding betters before I actually started. I knew what to look for, I knew like I knew what I was doing before I even started. Um, obviously I was still going to make mistakes and I did. That is crazy! They're actually doing it. They were getting all excited and thinking yeah this is going so amazing, oh my god it's happening. It, it, it wasn't happening, the female was just dropping eggs, um, they weren't wrapping properly. And like I said, if they watched a single video on YouTube of betas mating then they, they would see that. If there is baby betas, I don't think there's going to be too many because I think with the whole crossbreeding that you get less babies but um, we got to get that situated and in order and maybe we'll give Beta fish away to you guys. The betters were different tail types, which just isn't good for like the future genetics of the betta fish. There wasn't enough cover for the female in the tank. They introduced the male and female to each other wrongly. Um, yeah, they just they didn't really do anything right at all. Luckily, the breeding attempt was unsuccessful, um, which I'm actually really, really thankful for because they obviously had no idea what they were doing. Um, but yeah, that does happen. I've had attempts, I've had breeding attempts that have been unsuccessful. It's going to happen. But yeah, I was aware of that before I even started breeding. So I did absolutely everything that I possibly could to make sure that it worked the first time. Um, yeah, they clearly di didn't but yeah good news guys um they're actually planning on breeding again like i already said in the description of their new breeding video they wrote that they are now experienced and um they think it's going to go a lot better than the last time i would like to know how they're experienced because their first attempt went horribly wrong and from what i saw in their new video it doesn't look like they know what they're doing. They have caught and fed wild fish to their pets on many occasions, um, which is just so wrong on so many levels. They need to go into our other fish's belly. That is the first fish that we got. This is the cichlid. They're actually invasive here. He's wild caught and the other ones are probably farm. So yeah, here's the big boy guys. Here's the absolute giant tilapia that we caught. So. This is the one that our fish love. Our fish know and love the tilapia. Come here, buddy. Come here. There you go. It's a little fish there. I'm swimming around, some pilcher. So uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it all. We're gonna try to feed him some samplings. If he's not gonna eat that, we'll feed him some pilcher. Yeah. So uh, either way, Wiz is getting a nice snack today. Go, 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 get, 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 get. yes. Crush him. Yes. Go yes. on, go again. They've also kept wild fish as pets. Um, if you can hear like something crunching, that's my hedgehog. Piglet, do you mind? I'm trying to film a video. 
Sorry, my hedgehog's just woken up. So let's start with why feeding wild fish to your fish is a bad idea. Basically, if you feed your fish wild caught fish, you are introducing parasites into your tank, um, not just the tank that you're feeding the fish to, but other tanks if you use the same equipment. This hedgehog eats really, really loudly, but we're just gonna, gonna carry on. Unless these guys medicate their tanks regularly with worming stuff and anti-parasite stuff which I assume they don't um, but yeah unless they're doing that then they should not be feeding their fish wild caught fish basically if you feed your fish wild caught fish eventually they're going to die of parasites the majority of wild animals have parasites whether that is external parasites or internal parasites they will have parasites um, yeah so if you feed your fish wild fish um, they're, they're gonna get parasites they may not be affected with the parasite straight away it may be months maybe even years before symptoms start arising um, but yeah their tanks have got parasites I'm just saying stealing um, which is what catching wild fish is in my opinion um, stealing wild fish is actually illegal in most parts of the world um, there's a few exceptions to this um, if there is a specific invasive species um, they're okay to be taken out but yeah I haven't looked into the specific laws in Florida which I think is where they're from um, as to what they can actually fish and what they can't um, but yeah in a lot of places it's illegal He's gonna be a absolute beast in there, guys. Look at that thing. That thing is sick. So yeah, our tank is coming together, guys. Our tank is we're getting fish for it now. And all of our albino fish are in there right now. We Bass. Right now. Beautiful fish. Enjoy it, buddy. Sweet! Sweet. I mean, let's go. <laughs> See, you, you know he's gonna swim in the back because he's gonna be a little confused for uh, in the beginning. I'm a little scared. He's got a little spot on his head, a little white spot. I don't know where that's from, but look how good he looks. He's already super comfortable in here. He's been swimming around. It's just completely morally wrong to me to take an animal that lives its life in the wild, in the sea, the lake, a river, a pond, wherever you're taking it from, to take it and put it in a tank to keep as a pet. That's disgusting because, like, you're taking away its whole freedom. Like, it's just that's horrible and using that fish as a feeder fish that you've stolen from the wild is killing it like you're killing the fish just so your fish can have something to eat like it's just I don't like it I don't like it at all but like your fish that's been in captivity its whole life is not going to be that bothered if it doesn't get to hunt a live animal I hate the thought of taking any animal out of the wild they have got their whole freedom in the wild to do whatever they want and yeah there's more predators in the wild um, than there would be in a tank but it's just just don't take animals from the wild there's no need to do it anymore to kind of keep with the wild court theme the boys are majorly into turtles which i get i like turtles i think they're cute I really really like them my boyfriend actually has turtles i love them but the species of turtles that barb buzzing is it barbs buzzing the species of turtles that barbs barb barb it's barb buzzing buzzing isn't it there's no g barb buzzing barb buzzing yeah the species of turtle that they have is actually wild caught um they didn't catch them themselves they actually got them from a pet store and it is a teeny bit possible that these turtles were bred in captivity but it's extremely rare to find them bred in captivity um, most of them are wild caught and the store that they got these turtles from was just so dodgy like so dodgy like let me show you cool little things in a while so uh, let's see if they got something dope that we can buy we'll check it out there's a bunch of snapping turtles right here we want to get one of those and there's one other one that we had before but we had to give away back to our buddy but um we're gonna get one of those as well but i love the snapping turtles they're sick i have a monkey here hi hello hi. Likes the camera. <laughs> he's looking at himself it literally had a primate like a monkey in a cage for sale a monkey you can just buy a monkey in a cage in, in a shop 
example, if you feel comfortable about buying from a store that literally has a caged monkey in it, I genuinely don't know what to tell you. I feel like I'm sounding like some really hyper oversensitive like animal activist right now, but like really a monkey. A monkey. It's just not normal. Anyway, I got two turtles, I think, from this store um, that aren't compatible with each other. They've now, like, changed that and they've got them in two different setups. Um, but the store gave them the wrong advice. One of the turtles they got was a snapping turtle. If you guys know anything at all about snapping turtles, you will know they get extremely big. Um, they kind of look like Bulbasaur, you know, the Pokemon Bulbasaur. Yeah, they kind of look like him. Um, but yeah, but I was going to say Bulbasaur's are wild caught. Um, Bulbasaur's are wild caught. Um, but what am I talking about? <laughs> Snapping turtles are mostly wild caught. They're actually endangered species, um, which they probably would have known if they did any research into buying a snapping turtle before they actually bought a snapping turtle. Um, yeah, they are endangered and they're not really recommended to have as pets unless you're doing it for conservation reasons. Otherwise, you're just taking more snapping turtles out of the wild. Um, yeah, I just... I don't like it. I don't understand how anyone could walk into this pet shop and be like, yeah, this is a nice place to buy my animals from. It's just like, I don't like it at all. I could honestly write a long, long list about everything this pet shop has done wrong, purely based off of Bob Buzzing's um, video, um, but that's not what this video is about. Oh my god, I just saw this video. They bought a chicken and a rabbit and are wanting to keep it in a hutch together. I honestly don't even know where to start with this one. Okay. Something caught our eye. We did get a little baby chick, which is in this box right here. I'm not gonna show you guys yet until we get to the house. So I get to show you guys and like let her run around and stuff. It's a little baby female, and oh, Jack yeah. has no idea we got either one of these things. So Jack has no idea, and we also got a little baby body. Look how cute. Look how cute! This is all mine. She was in a big crammed like thing with a hundred chickens and now she's like I got a mansion. Okay so rabbits are social animals, um, they need friends um, and by friends I mean bunny friends not not a chicken. Chickens are also social animals and they like to be in a group and they're not like as social as rabbits but they're still like they're still pretty social um they like to like huddle up together at night they're really cute i used to have chickens when i was younger and we had them in like this really really cute hutch and oh my god they were so cute they all used to huddle up together at night like all squished up together they were really really cute anyway the store told them that keeping a rabbit and a chicken together is completely fine again the boys didn't do any research prior to buying a chicken and a rabbit why would they even decide to do that like Let's go and buy a chicken and a rabbit and keep it in the same hutch. Like, I'm, the hutch is also really, really small. Although they did say it wasn't going to be, like, a permanent setup, why not just save money and buy a hutch that's going to be its permanent setup? Because otherwise you're just going to have to be buying bigger hutches. Like, I, why? Why not just buy a bigger hutch? They're going to need to buy two. One for the chicken, a chicken coop, and one for the rabbit, a hutch. Actually, they need to buy more rabbits. Um, chickens need a roosting... What are those things called? Like a roosting pole. A roosting... Basically, chickens, when they sleep, they hold on to a roosting pole. We're going to call it a roosting pole because I can't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, they literally sleep holding on to this thing. They don't like sit and get cosy. I mean, they might when they're younger, um, but they sleep holding on to like this roosting pole. Heat lamp to keep them nice and warm. Both of them nice and warm at night. If it gets cold or because winter is coming, so got the heat lamp for them. This will be perfect. You don't want anything to happen to these guys. They don't need a heat lamp, nor do rabbits. I don't know where they got that information from. Yeah, you can get rabbits in the UK where it's cold, like the majority of the time. Rabbits don't need heat lamps, like they don't. It's completely predator proof. We're putting it flat on the ground so nothing can get under there. We're going to take double cautions, everything, to make sure that these guys are totally safe. They definitely need to predator-proof that hutch by putting something like um, netting, not netting, like wire or something, so that no foxes or 
I don't know what predators they have over there, coyotes or whatever, um, they need to put like something around the bottom so that any animal can't dig straight under. Um, yeah because otherwise they're going to get eaten they also need to put like a cover up um so that at night they don't literally get scared to death by staring at a fox or something they've literally just got this whole setup wrong like i don't understand they haven't got anything right like there's nothing right about this at all not one thing so there's that anyway i've been filming for the longest time ever and i'm just getting more and more frustrated and annoyed so i'm gonna go there is still so much that i want to tell you about these guys um but i feel like i'm being a moody bitch i don't like these boys and i advise anyone that's getting into fish keeping or animal keeping because i feel like that's more what they're moving into now um i advise you not to get your information from these boys there are so many amazing educational channels on youtube that you can get your information from i'm going to link some really really good ones down below if you are interested in that um yeah just please don't copy these guys um they're, they're not doing it right <laughs> like they're really not um i've actually messaged them in the past um specifically about better breeding and i've told them like hey um you might want to do it this way instead of that way like being nice like being nice i'm not a nasty person like if i'm going to i'm not going to leave you like i'm not going to leave anyone hate i'm gonna be nice about it um and they were like we're fine thank you for your concern and they were like really blunt with me yeah i've also like said to them in the past hey like if you ever need any help with anything then hey um but yeah they they don't want any help so i don't know what to tell you if you're going to take anything from this video um don't buy animals recklessly do your research um don't listen to these guys because they don't know what they're doing um yeah just don't do this just don't <laughs> Anyway, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video or learnt something. Um, if you are new around here, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. Also, leave me a comment down below um, letting me know what you think about this style of video. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you want to see more videos, if you've, if you've seen videos from Bar Buzzing and what you think about them, just let me know. Let's have a chat down below yeah um i filmed a video last week that i don't think made it into subscription boxes um i gave my hedgehog a bath so if you want to see picklet having a bath and pooing in his bath then i'll link that video here maybe this side this side i don't know which side yet um but yeah make sure that you subscribe also follow me on instagram if you do not follow me on instagram and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys I don't you think my hair looks like really healthy today like this bit so nice and healthy and then you go down to like this bit and you're like whoa whoa like what happened it's gray the ends of my hair are gray yeah i think it's time for a haircut